you're talking about creating change. I think uh, I come from the strictly digital space, and I'm learning about traditional communications. Right? So, um, I think if you're going to create change, one of the things that we're all seeing now, and I'm amazed here how many people are on iPhones, iPads, Macs. I think uh, a lot of the change at the moment is coming uh, from, not from companies, it's coming from people outside companies who are saying, wait, I don't like the way this works. So uh, I think companies are getting to this point, the companies I talk to, where they're like, hey, wait, what are they saying about us? So this is the first stage, which is, you know, I know I need to do things, because I know in the last 10 years, uh, uh, people have, have looked at the internet, for example, and they go, they've gone from, what's a web page, to I want to be on Facebook. Or I want a Facebook, right? Is what I have reason. I want a Facebook. Anybody in the room want a Facebook? So, no, he doesn't want Facebook, especially his last job. So, so um, I think what's interesting for companies is previously, they expected the change to come from them. Right. What's happening now is a lot of this change that demand is coming from other people. And if you're not uh, always right, you might listen to them. So some of this listen, listing things you're talking about is actually uh, going out there and saying, what are people saying about me and do I care? So a lot, a lot of the, the, the stuff I see, the first thing is what are people saying about me? Most people go onto Google and they'll do a quick search and they think that's the end of the story. But nowadays, everybody and their sister is selling social media monitoring software. How many people in this room are selling social media monitoring software? And running their sister. Right. So, so you know, what, what's happening is it's the the voices that affect that change. Um, not necessarily bigger, but there's a lot more of them. So I think the ability to listen to that and either pay attention to it or you know, engage it is a big. Uh, a big driver of change. And to be honest with you, I think most change comes from fear. Ah, interesting. So, from that perspective, like, I don't know if the audience feels this uh, from their perspective, Sorry. but <laughs> are there any instances where you've, you've used technology at home, for example, where you think this would be great at work, but you haven't put your hand up at work to say, hey, why don't we try this? <laughs> yeah, who puts their hand up at work to say, why don't we try this? <laughs> And, and what sort of response do you get, gentlemen? And obviously you get back up again. Yeah. But what, what, I mean, what does that, what does that mean in terms of um, your willingness to keep, keep pushing that again? Can I ask a question? So do you go on the web and bitch on your blog because you're getting slapped down? <laughs> or do you have a corporate or on Twitter because you're getting slapped down? No, no. Uh, so you don't seek alternative routes to get listened to? I, I do know a lot of like a bounce ideas off. So if I, bounce, if, if I could slap down, I'm not sure that hey, I'm right or right, I can always bounce ideas off other people. And if what I'm hearing back is, you know what, there is still something in this, I might have a new ball going around and talk about that. So it, 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 it's, a, it's a great example, Jonathan. So one of the challenge, one of the challenges yet again of change, and it's constant. It's a constant struggle. And I think this is something that maybe Glenn can talk to. Yeah. Is the idea of constantly struggling against a paradigm of organisational change, which is that we will not change until the business need is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Um, and rather than talk about it, I thought I'd sing a song. So uh, there's a rock. I think there's a guitar somewhere. Where's there a guitar? Is everyone excited? This is going to be quite a bit, by the way. Crazy shit. Can I send it to guitar? Tank or be able to? Hang on, wait a second. I get the guitar. Yeah. Alright, ready everyone? No, there isn't actually going to be a guitar. Alright, so there's no guitar. Welcome to my life, right? Yeah, <laughs> presented with something awesome and then it's taken away all the time. That's what, it, that's what it feels like to work in a company where uh, they're trying to work with these things. They're not quite sure if they actually want to jump right in. Um, so it's a little bit, uh, a little of the time. Uh, none of the resources are there. None of the kind of senior management behind it. You know, there's all these people from below Pushing, surging, trying to make things happen. Does this make you a rock star, or does it make you just a, a man? I want to be. I think this is a man. We had a PlayStation.
questions, really. I'll say that we no, but, um, uh, no, but that's, that is what it's like. It's like, you know, waiting for something to happen that doesn't happen. It's very confusing. Um, uh, it sucks out people's um, enthusiasm uh, for the project. And basically, you know, you have to, it's a, it's a really hard, hard spot sometimes to get things up. Uh, Ripping off what you're just saying, yeah, you you actually need to build allies. So there's there's other people in the company you are not alone. Building. Yeah, there there are other people in the company, whichever company you work in, who probably feel the same way. If they're engaging with the same challenges, then they've probably come to the same set of conclusions about what needs to happen. So you you have to find these people, you have to seek them out, um, and then collude and take over the company. No, um, and, then, and then work together to get the outcomes happening that, that you actually want to. Want to happen. Yeah. So um, I'm wondering from, from out there in the audience, if you've had that, that experience that you know that you're out there leading from the front and you think that you're out there leading and you look behind and there's no one else there. <laughs> I can see you like. Oh there's a microphone, right? Oh no. Oh, there's a raving microphone. Yeah, 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 I don't know, it's, it's very daunting, I think, particularly if, if in the social media space it's often the geeks and the nerds and we're not necessarily well understood and uh, you're trying to be cutting edge and you find yourself very alone and unsupported. Uh, and I, I think until it gets the respect from upper management, like any kind of organisational change, it's very difficult to filter, filter down. So it's a, it's a great point. So